Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, segment uh, CD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this angle uh, ACB is 150 degrees and this angle uh, ADC is uh, 60 degrees and moreover this segment uh, AD is uh, 7 units whereas uh, this segment uh, BD is uh, 30 units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, segment uh, CD I'm going to label this one as X uh, units and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X and now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job easier. So therefore we have created this line uh, CE such that uh, this uh, segment uh, CD equal to this segment uh, DE. So therefore if this segment is X uh, then this segment uh, DE has got to be X units uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, CDE. We know that this uh, whole uh, straight angle is uh, 180 degrees and this angle is 60 degrees. So therefore this remaining angle is going to be 120 degrees. And moreover we can see that this triangle CDE is an isosceles uh, triangle since this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle is going to be equal to this uh, angle since this is an isosceles uh, triangle so therefore we conclude that these uh, two angles are going to be 30 degrees each since the sum of these uh, three interior angles is equal to 180 degrees and now let's make an observation once again we know that this uh, is our straight angle which is going to be 180 degrees and this uh, angle is 30 degrees so therefore this remaining angle has got to be 150 degrees and here's our next step let's make an observation we can see that this uh, BD length uh, is uh, 30 and this uh, DE length uh, is uh, X so therefore uh, this remaining EB length uh, has got to be 30 minus uh, X and moreover I'm going to label uh, this uh, side uh, BC as y units and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, triangle uh, BEC and this uh, whole uh, triangle uh, ABC are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem since uh, this whole uh, angle is uh, 150 degrees and likewise uh, this angle is 150 degrees uh, as well and moreover this angle is in common so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words uh, the ratio of this uh, side length uh, BC and this side length uh, EB is going to be equal to the ratio of this whole uh, side length uh, AB and this uh, side uh, BC as you can see in this uh, given uh, equation and now we can see our this uh, BC length uh, is uh, Y and our this uh, EB length uh, is uh, 30 minus uh, X likewise this our uh, whole uh, AB length has got to be 7 plus uh, 30 is going to give us uh, 37 so therefore this length has got to be 37 and finally this our uh, BC length uh, is once again Y so therefore our this uh, equation is going to become uh, y divided by 30 minus uh, x uh, equal to 37 divided by y let's cross uh, multiply so therefore we can write uh, y square equals to 37 times 30 minus uh, x let me call this our equation uh, number one and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BCD and now we are going to use the law of uh, cosines and here in this uh, triangle our side lengths are uh, X uh, 
y and 30 units and the given angle is 120 degrees so let's go ahead and apply the law of cosines over here so i can write uh, y square equal to x square plus uh, 30 square minus uh, 2 times uh, x uh, times uh, 30 times the uh, cosine of our angle is uh, 120 degrees and now let's make an observation we can see cosine of 120 degrees uh, is uh, negative 1 divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this cosine of 120 degrees by negative 1 divided by 2 and now we can see if we simplify this part that is going to give us uh, positive uh, 30x and this part is going to be 30 square is uh, 900 so therefore we can write this one as uh, y square equal to x square plus uh, 30x plus uh, 900 let me call uh, this our equation uh, number two and here we are ended up with these uh, two equations equation one uh, and equation two and now we are going to compare these uh, two equations we can see our left hand sides are uh, identical so therefore we can equate the right hand sides uh, as well so therefore we are going to write down uh, x square plus uh, 30x uh, plus uh, 900 is going to be equal to 37 times uh, 30 minus uh, x and now in this uh, next step i'm going to distribute uh, 37 so therefore we got on the right hand side uh, 1110 minus 37 x and now in this uh, next step i'm going to add uh, 37 x uh, and subtract uh, negative 1110 at the very same time and we can see on the right hand side this cancels out and this uh, cancels out uh, as well and on the left hand side that is going to give us uh, x square plus uh, 67x uh, minus uh, 210 equals to 0 and now we can see we got this uh, quadratic uh, equation and we are going to solve for x uh, by grouping uh, and factoring you may use the quadratic uh, formula as well to solve this uh, given quadratic equation and now let's focus uh, on this uh, constant part 210 could be factored out uh, 3 times uh, 70 isn't it and if we subtract uh, these numbers we are going to get uh, 67 so therefore let's focus on this uh, middle term 67 x could be written as uh, 70 x uh, minus 3 uh, x as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see x uh, is in common between first two terms and uh, negative uh, 3 is in common uh, between last two terms so therefore i'm going to factor out x uh, so we got uh, x plus uh, 70 and here i'm going to factor out uh, negative 3 and we got x plus uh, 70 over here uh, once again equal to 0 and here we can see x plus 70 and x plus 70 is in common so therefore we can write uh, x uh, minus 3 times uh, x uh, plus uh, 70 equal to 0 and now we are going to separate uh, these uh, two factors as you can see in this uh, next step we got these two equations so therefore our x values don't turn out to be 3 and negative uh, 70 and here we can see x cannot be a negative uh, number since this represents the side length so therefore we are going to reject this uh, negative value and we are going to accept uh, x equal to 3 so therefore our this uh, x value turns out to be positive uh, 3 and here's our next step let's make an observation we can see the area of this whole uh, triangle uh, abc is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two individual uh, triangles the triangle uh, acd area this triangle area and plus uh, this other triangle uh, bcd area and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ACD and this triangle uh, BCD as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ACD. 
And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle uh, c. As you can see in this uh, triangle, we got these uh, two side lengths uh, a and b, and c is the angle in between. And in our case, for this triangle, our side lengths are uh, 3 and 7, and the angle between them is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore, the area of this triangle ACD is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 3 times uh, 7 times sine of uh, 60 degrees. And now we can see sine of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this sine of 60 by square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore, if we simplify the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 21 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 4. And here's our next step, where now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, other triangle uh, BCD. And we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula. And for this uh, triangle, our side lengths are uh, 3 and uh, 30, and our angle between them is uh, 120 degrees. So therefore, the area is going to become uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 3 times uh, 30 times uh, sine of uh, 120 degrees. And now we can see that sine of 120 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step. And if we simplify everything, uh, we are going to get uh, 90 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 4. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this whole uh, triangle uh, ABC. Since we already figured out uh, these uh, individual uh, areas of the triangle. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this equation. So we are going to have a 21 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 4 plus uh, 90 times the square root of 3 divided by 4 as well. If we add and uh, simplify everything uh, on the right hand side, the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be 111 times square root of 3 divided by 4. So therefore, the area of this triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 111 times square root of 3 divided by 4 uh, square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 41.1 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.